Upanishads and coronavirus. I was trying to find the link. Why did this coronavirus come? Does it have a divine meaning? It has a direct connection. In the Upanishads, there is a very key word. It's called Neti Neti. Not this, not this. The Upanishads talks of Mithya. Mithya means illusion. It's the opposite of Satya. In the Upanishads, there's a lot of talk. Kya Satya hai? Kya Mithya hai? What is the truth? What is the illusion? We say, I am Robert. No, that's an illusion. My name is Robert. That is the reality. When I was born, I was not Robert. I was given the name. How is this connected to coronavirus? The coronavirus is mythia. It's an illusion. What is Satya? Satya is this virus is killing the aged, elderly and sick people. Today I heard a very famous magic artist of Las Vegas, Roy, who had white tigers in the Mirage Casino. He died. He was 75 years old. Probably 17 years back the tiger attacked him and he has been surviving for 17 years. Today he died, but it's said that he died of coronavirus. It's a labor. Somebody is 80 years, somebody is 85 years. They die. They would have anyway died. Why are we thinking that it is coronavirus that killed them? This is mythia. It's an illusion. How many people between the age of 20 and 60 are dying of coronavirus? Hardly any. It's a very, very small, very tiny percentage of a population. I liked it when the famous Naren Murti of Infosys said, 1,000 people had died in India a few days back. Now it's gone up probably nearly to 2,000. I said, what's the big deal? 30,000 people, up to 30,000 people die in India every day. But it's the illusion that makes us live in fear. That's why my book F-E-A-R, False Expectation, appearing real. Coronavirus won't kill the world. Fear will. This is taught to us in the Upanishads. Our most important scripture. Just like the Bhagavad Gita. The Indian scripture that matters most. The Vedas. The Vedas cream, a sense comes in the Upanishads and it says Tat Tvam Asi, Thou art that. That's the reality. It talks about Ghor Avidya. We must overcome this gross ignorance. What is coronavirus doing? It is making us sink in the ignorance, in the illusion that this virus is going to kill everybody. No. This virus is not killing everybody. This virus is killing only those who are over 60, 65 years, 65 plus, and those who have got comorbidities, those who have got a serious heart condition, lung, kidney, cancer. They need to protect themselves. Why is the whole world gone into hiding? It's our ignorance. It's very sad. I said this two months ago. Because I was talking on the basis of the Upanishads. Mithya. Neti, neti. We are not this body. We appear to be this body, but we are not. This virus appears to be a deadly disease like the 1918 Spanish flu. But it's not. It appears. Why do we human beings suffer? Because we go by what appears to be. We experience suffering of the body, misery of the mind, and agony of the ego. Because we think we are this body, mind, and ego. 
But we are not. We are the divine soul. That is what the Bhagavad Gita says. But why don't we understand it? Because we live with Mithya. We are enveloped in Maya. That's what the Gita says. That's why there's a strong connection between coronavirus and Upanishads. What the Upanishads teach us has come alive globally in this pandemic of coronavirus. We are lost in our ignorance. We are unable to see the truth. You think I'm wearing a shirt. Anybody will say I'm wearing a shirt. But actually, it's not a shirt. They are threads. It appears to be a shirt, right? But in reality, it's made up of threads. You can't see the threads. This is what the Upanishad says. Go deep. Go on a quest. Be a jigyasu. Be a seeker. Search for the true meaning of life. Even in coronavirus, we must search. It's not a deadly killer disease. We do not have to shut down the whole world for months together. This is our ignorance, our fear. We have to overcome it. We have to change the mithya into satya. We have to go from the illusion to the truth. Otherwise, we will continue 